Hello students, welcome in today's class. As you know that we have already started now decimals. And in my previous video, we discussed about decimals. What are decimals? How we can use decimals? And addition of decimals we learned in the previous video. In today's video, I will explain you, I will tell you how we can subtract decimal numbers from decimals. So subtraction we will learn today. The subtraction of decimal number. It is almost same as the, the uh, subtraction of integers that I think all of you knows very well. So let us start how we can subtract one decimal number from another number or uh, decimal number from integers. So many examples we will discuss here today. 100 and 15.7 see you can see here two numbers are there this is 100 integer and this is 15.7 and we to we need to subtract second number from first number so what is instruction subtract second number from first number So, same procedure we will follow here that we followed in that addition of decimals. So, what is the rule? We have to write each and every number according to place value chart. Ones, then tens, then hundreds and then thousand, ten thousand we can write. And here after this zero to right hand side, we can write here small t. This is so that tenth place or one by tenth for decimal numbers you can use this. Similarly for hundredth, then for thousandth, then ten thousandths, like that. So first number is one hundred. We have to write according to place value chart. So we can write zero here. Since zero, this is at unit place or ones place. This zero is at tenth place and one as hundredth place. So we have to write like this. And just below it, 15.7. This is called subtrahend. It means we need to subtract this 15.7 from 100. So we have to write just below 100, this 15.7. How we can write now? You can see here, before decimal point, this 5 is at unit place or at 1's place. So we can write 5 here. And 1 we can write is 1's is at tenth place so we can write in the row of tenth here now 0.7 also we have here so we can write it is tenth place at tenth place that is one by tenth we can write it so before this seven we need to put decimal point right now one more thing that we discussed in my previous video before addition or subtraction, we need to convert all the decimals into like decimals. So, what are like decimals? We have discussed already. Like decimal means after decimal point, if all the numbers have same digits, then such type of numbers are called like decimals. So, you can see here in 100, there is no uh, digit after decimal point. So first we need to convert this 100 into decimals. How we can? So if we put 0 here in the place 10th or 1 by 10, so we can make it now decimal number. So it is now 100.0. After decimal point only one digit is there and in second number also after decimal point only one digit is there. So these two are we can say these are like fractions. Now we can subtract, right? We can subtract now. We are going to subtract now. How we can subtract? The basic rule is we have to start subtracting from right to left. So this is my right side, right hand, and we'll start from this way. First, we'll subtract these things, then this one, then this one, then this one. This is very common rule. You all know this rule. Now here you can see zero is there. And we need to subtract 7. So it means we need to take one borrow from previous digit. So after taking borrow, it becomes now 10. You know that what 
is boro how we can take boro you all know i'm not going in deep here just i'm telling you we have after taking boro we have pen here right now pen minus seven three we can write we have three decimal point we can write as it is right since we we have taken boro for this one so it becomes now nine so nine minus five four we can write here right Boro comes from here also. It's a nine, nine minus one, eight. Actually, borrows borrow goes from here, so it becomes zero now. So zero, we no need to write zero. So eighty four point three. This is what if we subtract fifteen point seven from hundred, we'll have eighty four point three. Hope you understand. This is very simple, right? One more example we'll discuss here. No need to write from there. Now you can see two decimal numbers are there. First one is one hundred twenty-five point seven, and second one is eighty-seven point two five. We need to subtract second one from first. This is instruction: subtract second number from first number. Right. So, very first thing. You need to write numbers according to place values are ones, tens, hundred. Right here, tenth and hundredth. So five we can write here, two we can write here, one we can write here, and this tenth we can write here after decimal point. Right, and downside seven we can write here, eight we can write here, and two. And five we can write here. Now, very first thing is you need to convert all decimals into like decimals. So you can see here in first one hundred twenty five point seven there is only one digit after this decimal point, and here you can see two digits we have. So how we can make like decimals? So if we put zero here, since we know that. Hundredth place is not given here, so we can write zero here. This value of this number doesn't change if we put zero after decimal point. Already we discussed it, so we can write it now one hundred twenty five point seven zero, and second number already we have eighty seven point two five. Now we can subtract since these two numbers are like decimals. So After taking zero from here, it is ten now. So ten minus five, five we can say. I will get five. And after taking zero, it's become now six. So six minus two, four we have here. Decimal point, as you can see, you can write just in the the same row, same line. We can write decimal point as it is. Now here is five, and this number, this subtraction, this is seven. It is bigger than five. So what to do? We need to take borrow from here. So it become now fifteen. You know that. So fifteen minus seven. What do we have? Eight. Right. Now after taking borrow, it's now one. And again, we need to take borrow from here. So it is eleven now. So eleven minus eight. Three, and it become now zero since it has given zero to the other. So zero, we no need to write. So thirty-eight point four five we have after subtracting eighty-seven point two five from one hundred twenty-five point seven. Right. One more thing that I want to discuss here. What we read this number. How we can read it? Eighty-seven point twenty-five. Is it right? No, this is wrong. We can read it eighty-seven point two five. 
since this is not a complete number, not an integer, it's a part, right? So we can read it 87.25. Please don't read it 87.25. Hope you understand and hope you remember this thing also. Now, hope you. Uh, I, I think that now you are able to subtract now. One more example to make you understand. One more example I am taking here. Now, subtract. Second number from first number. So first number is I'm writing here 189, 1920, 1892, and we need to subtract this one. How we get? So, write first number according to place value chart. 1, 8, 9, 2. This is 1s, this is 10s, this is 100, and this is 1000s. And here we can write 10th, 100th, 1000s. Right? So, second number is 1 to 9. So, we can write like this. And 0.125 we can write. Now, before subtraction, we need to make it like decimal. So, how we can make like decimal? After putting zeros after this decimal. So, you can see now, after decimal point, three zeros are there. It means three digits are there. And here also three digits are there. Now, we can subtract. So, how? It is 10 now after taking borrow. So, 10 minus 5. 5 we can say, there is 9 now, 9 minus 2 we can write here, 7, here 9, 9 minus 1, 8, hope you understand, here now 11 after taking borrow, 11, after taking borrow from previously, so 11 minus 9, 2 we can write, here is now 8, so 8 minus 2, 6 we can write, now here is 7, 8, 8 minus 1, 7, and this 1 we can write as it is. So, after subtracting 129 from 0.125 from 1892, we have 1762.875, right? Now, we will discuss some word problem related with this, this addition and subtraction of decimals. I have a question here. First question I am writing here. You need to write this question in your notebook also. So, Rahul, question is Rahul is called 5452.65 marks out of 600 in the final examination. How many marks does he lose? Question is Rahul scored 452.75 marks out of 600 in his final examination. And question is how many marks does he lose? It means how many marks are sought there from 600, right? So, how we can solve it? Suppose a test in a class test, you got 16 marks out of 20. So, how many marks you lost? How can you find? If we subtract 16 from 20, 
we can say four. So we can say four marks I didn't get or four marks less marks I got in this test. So what to do now? You need to subtract 452.65 from 600 to get the marks that Rahul lose. So marks Rahul scored. How much he scored? This much. So total marks. 600. Now, so marks that Rahul lose. How can you find? Write 600 upper side since we are subtracting this less marks from 600. And we have to write once again, I'm reminding you, we have to write according to place value chart. So, no need to write every time ones, then tens, then hundred thousands. You can just write 600 and just below 600 we can write 5, 4, 5, 2, then 0. 0.65 and before actual subtraction we need to convert both the numbers in like decimals. So how we can, if we can put two zeros there, now we can convert this one in like decimals. Now we can subtract. After taking borrow from here we have 10, 10 minus 5, 5. And it becomes now 9, 9 minus 6, 3 we can write, here again 9, 9 minus 2, 7, here is 9, 9 minus 5, 4, here is now 5 after giving borrow, so 5 minus 4, 1. So 147.35 marks that he lose, Rahul lose. It means if we add these two marks, that Rahul got in examination and the marks that he lose and the sum of the marks you can see it will be 600. This is the way how we can check our subtraction. So let's add here both the marks that Rahul get and that Rahul lose. If we add both the marks so what we get so let's check 5 and 5 10 0 carry is 1 so 6 and 1 7 7 and 3 again 10 carry is 1 7 and 2 9 9 and 1 carry 10 again carry is 1 5 and 1 6 6 and 4 again 10 0 carry is 1 4 and 1 5 that carry 6 so what we have 600.00 means 600 it means our answer is correct it means Rahul lose 147.3 marks. Hope you understand. One more word problem I am going to discuss with you here related with this decimals. Question is Emmy had 0 0.87 liter of cold drink. Right? Flora. Her friend Flora had 0 0.92 liter of cold drink. Question is how much colding they both had? They both have. This is question. Very simple question. You all know I think. Amy had 0 0.87 liter of cold drink. Right? And flora, this is flora. A. I forget to write. So flora had 0 0.92 liter of cold drink. How much cold drink they both have? So what to do? Suppose 
I have ten rupees with me, and you had five rupees with you. So what is total amount that we both have? So ten plus five, we can say fifty. In similar manner, we can add that Amy had this much of holding and Flora had this much of holding, and the total quantity how we can get after adding both the quantity. So Amy had. Zero point nine two liter of cold drink. Flora had how much? Zero point sorry. Yes, Ami had zero point eight seven, and Flora had zero point nine liter of cold drink. Right, so total quantity of cold drink. What to do now? We have to add these together. This is very simple question. How we can add? We have to write according to place value chart. We have already written. And second thing. Just uh, we have to check the numbers. The decimals should be in like decimal. So you can see here these are in like decimal. After decimal point, two places both have. So we can directly add them. What we have now? Seven plus two, nine. We can say, and eight plus nine, seventeen. Seven carry is one. So one we can shift here. So one point seven nine. Liter. Don't forget to write a unit. So, in total, they both have one liter and seven hundred ninety milliliter, or one point seven nine liter of cold drink. They both have together. So, hope you understand, guys. One more question I have here. Let us discuss this question also. This question is that the weight of a baby elephant. Question number third. After two years, his weight increased by one hundred nine point eight five kg. <coughs> Question is: Find the weight of Elephant after two years. Question is the weight of a baby elephant is two hundred eighteen point eight nine kg, right? Baby elephant after two years. Now elephant grown up, up and after two years. His weight increased by one hundred nine point eight five kg. Right? Find the weight of the elephant after two years. How you can solve this? Just think about it. Take your time and think it. Suppose your weight before two years, your weight was thirty kg. And within two years, you gain your weight five kg. So, what is your present weight now? So, how can you find? You can add simply. Before two years, I was of thirty kg, and 
within two years I gain two kg more weight. So now my weight is thirty five. In same manner, we can find weight of this <coughs> elephant <coughs> before two years. The weight was two hundred eighteen point eight nine, and after two years he gained or he increased his weight. That is one hundred nine point eight five kg. So what is the weight of elephant after two years? Right. So weight of elephant after two years. We have to add, but before adding, we have to write according to place values are. So we can write like this: two hundred eighteen point eight nine and one hundred nineteen point eight nine that he gained. So we can add both the weights, right? You can see that both the decimals are in like decimals form, so we can directly add now. Nine and five, we have fourteen. Carry is one, so nine eight and eight sixteen and one seventeen again carry is one, so this is ten ten and eight eighteen eight carry is again one one and one two two and one three, so after two years the weight of elephant will be three hundred twenty eight point seven four kg. Don't forget to write this kg. You have to write it. This is very important in mathematics. If you are <coughs> solving any word problem, you need to write your answers in a proper format. Format means you need to write the unit. What unit is used there? If it is in gram, you have to write their gram. If it is in kg, you have to write kg. Whatever unit is. Given there, you need to write. You need to express your right, your answer in that unit also. So, after two years, elephant weight of elephant will be three hundred twenty eight point seven four kg. Hope you understand now. So that's all from uh, today's class, guys. And today we discussed how we can subtract, and also how we can add, and we also discussed some word problems related with. decimals right and uh, i expect from you that you are practicing at your home you take questions from your elders from your book and from internet also you can take questions related with decimals and try to solve these questions if any problem you have you ask me you can ask me i already shared my number with you any time you can call me and uh, you can also write in comment section so in next video i can solve your problems that you mentioned me right hope you understand so that's all from today's class thank you so much